Hello students, I'm Dr. Manisha, your Marrow Faculty for ENT and today with us is Dr. Bharat who has achieved an amazing rank of rank 9 in the NEET 2025, NEET PG 2025. So welcome and congratulations Dr. Bharat. Thank you. Uh, how does it feel? Really unbelievable ma'am. I, I haven't expected this much rank also ma'am. I uh, was shocked actually initially, checked my result like some 5 to 10 times. <laughs> then uh, I was really happy and then informed my parents. Yes. And, uh, so please tell us happy. about yourself, where do you belong to, yes, which ma college? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I am Dr. Bharat Kumar from uh, 2018 batch, uh, studied at uh, Velaman Medical College, Madurai. And uh, yeah, I completed my internship in uh, May 2024. And uh, yeah, I then uh, meet 2025 and got uh, a rank 9. Uh, and, uh, I'm sure a lot of hard work must have gone to uh, get such an amazing rank. So Dr. Bharat, please walk us through your journey of preparation so that all our viewers and NEET aspirants can get benefited. So uh, uh, you are a Plan C user? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'm a Plan C user. Um, both, both videos and QBanks. Yes, okay. So when did your preparation actually with Marrow start? Yes, ma'am. It started by third year, ma'am. Uh, the third year, uh, I used to watch uh, only the third year subject I initially used to watch, ma'am, uh, whichever I felt uh, difficult. And I'm not concentrated much on NEET, uh, like uh, more of a university or some like that only I prepared. I haven't prepared in an organized way. So post internship, I started my preparation for NEET especially. Okay, so your most focused preparation for NEET actually started yes. after internship and that was yes, in uh, last year in 2024 what time uh, around uh, may uh, june 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 end around june okay so which means yes. you had complete one good year for preparation yes. for NEET yes, yes. yes. and yes. before that you had uh, more or less finished all the videos along with your university for your university exams uh, i watched uh, not all i would say ma'am uh, so that topic I felt confused, I watched them. Like, uh, ah, I watched them almost, almost I watched them. Okay, so which means that we understand that your concepts were already clear before you started your focus preparation yes. for need one year back. Yes, so, yes, uh, like uh, you told me that in the first six months, you yes, completed your all the subjects up yes, to your yes, heart's yes, desire yes, and in the next yes, six yes, months you started your revision so please yes, walk us through what your preparation looked like when you were first preparing in the first six months uh, how would your yes, week look yes, like how would your day look like what would you do in a day to for the preparation okay ma'am uh, in the first six months uh, i used to plan a schedule like for uh, for a particular subject this much days uh, i have to study uh, for example, for ENT itself, ma'am, I took like uh, some four days for uh, two days per year, one year no, one day no, and one day throat like that, ma'am. And uh, uh, after completing uh, a particular topic, I used to solve the few banks at the, at the same time, ma'am. And uh, at the end of like uh, December, I I completed uh, uh, all my subject for the first reading, and uh, I attended my GT first GT like. Uh, just before the initiate on November 2024, like uh, on October, October I have done my first GT and uh, that was pretty bad only actually, ma'am. But I haven't cared much about it. Uh, just go on with it, ma'am. So, so uh, could you tell us what were the uh, like uh, specific features that you used for specific resources that you used for revision? Revision, especially uh, the GTs, ma'am. Uh, GTs are my uh, source for revision actually. The thing is, uh, um, whenever I made a mistake on my GT, on reviewing, I used to take a notes on it, and my own hand handwritten notes. And on uh, uh, next GTs, I uh, uh, used to see this before writing the next GT, and then I uh, done that. And also during the last uh, uh, two weeks, uh, I uh, taken that as my main revision. I have to complete that. And uh, the main notes, I didn't care much on the last time. Man. The last days, uh, I actually during my first revision, ma'am, I used to write uh, uh, concisely from the main notes, ma'am. And uh, in the last month, uh, I read that uh, that one. Ma'am, the main thing. Uh, 
So what was your day of revision? Uh, what did it look like? What did you do during a day of revision? Did you read your notes? Did you do the question bank? Did you use the custom modules? Like, how was it? Uh, during my first study, ma'am, uh, during my first uh, study, that is the first six months, I used to do custom modules from the PYQs. I first concentrated on PYQs and PYTs, ma'am. Uh, I haven't done much on the main module, more of a custom module bookmarked it and used to revise that uh, uh, whenever it, I can. And uh, after December, I done the main module questions, man. So I mainly concentrated on PYQs at first, man. Those are the first okay, things so I like suppose you are doing the revision of one subject. So what yes, would you do during the revision? You do, uh, did you do the notes? How many questions yes, did you do? What uh, questions did you do actually? Did you use the custom modules for that? So yes, how was the revision? Yes, because revision is something which all the students ask us repeatedly how should we revise yes ma'am yes ma'am i actually uh, um take some uh, I, I plan a schedule at first ma'am for a particular subject how many days i have to revise and uh, i will read my main notes and uh, we'll do custom module first first preview use and uh, after i completed one subject uh during on my revision with another subject I used to do the to do the main module, man, main marrow modules passively, like uh, whether I remember it or not, like that. As uh, an active recall, I used to do the uh, main module. PVQ's custom module are the first uh, questions that I saw man, uh, during my first uh, reading. Like okay, that. Okay, so, um, so you mainly focused on the PYQs uh, during mm -hmm. your revision, and the uh, rest of the question bank. Did you like uh, make a target that yes, I will do these many questions from whatever subject um, you are reading uh, per day? Did you do something uh, like that? No, nah, nah, the subjects which I were weak, uh, I used to solve all the module. Man. Actually, uh, ENT is one of my weak subjects, man. And I <laughs> done all the, <laughs> I done all the modules on ENT and uh, pathology. I done all the modules. Like whichever subject I, I felt weak, I used to do, do all the modules. Whichever I am uh, pretty okay with that. Uh, I don't care much, ma'am. I will just concentrate okay, on PYQs. So your revision was mm -hmm. mainly with the notes and uh, mm -hmm. the question bank, all the modules which you were not very sure about, you mm -hmm. finished that. And mainly mm -hmm. the custom modules for that, you use the PYQ tag mainly. PYQ tag, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Did you also take part in marathons? Marathons, ah, yes, ma'am. From, uh, uh, yes, ma from January, it started. Uh, that helped me to gain my pace, ma'am, on the revision. Because I the initially I used to solve only some three or four modules per day like that, ma'am. And uh, during the marathon times, uh, it gone to some ten or fifteen modules per day. So it helped me to gain my pace, and uh, it definitely helped me. Okay. So you told me that GTs really helped you to yes, uh, yes to ace up your preparation. So can yes, you tell us how you use the GTs and how you helped your how it helped your uh, you to get better in scoring in GT and overall uh, in your exam also? Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, the GTs. Um, whenever I completed my GTs, uh, I used to uh, review on the day itself, ma'am. The day itself, how much ever the take, uh, how much ever the time it takes. Like uh, for initially, I took around uh, six, seven hours under and for one uh, GT review. And the mm -hmm. mistakes, whatever I have done, I used to write it on a note, like some mistake notes. And uh, on successive GTs, before I, I attending the successive GTs, I used to see the uh, mistakes that I have done in my previous GTs. And it uh, helped me on successive GTs. Like that, the score also pretty improved. Initially, I was around 120, some uh, 120 correct, like that, man. It gradually increased to 140, 150, and in my last uh, neat mark, I got uh, some uh, 165 to 170, correct, ma'am. And uh, it improved. So this 120 to 175 was yes, in the last year of preparation. In 120 last, to 170. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I done my first GT on uh, 2024 only, on October, and over this okay. one year, uh, it has improved, ma'am. The uh, thing I done so is, uh, I, uh, yes, ma'am. What really helped you when you felt that your score is plateauing? Uh, was it? Uh, what did uh, it? I used to, yes, ma'am. I used to feel about it. Uh, I also get depressed sometimes. 
but uh, what it meant is uh, only after this initiate 2025 i realized that uh, those mistakes always it happened man and uh, i the thing is uh, uh, doesn't matter actually i just uh, 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 thought every question to be easy and uh, trusted my instincts and uh, just uh, mark like that man uh, whatever difficulties i uh, i doesn't care uh, so this is the question this is the answer and i just uh, remember the concept uh, i realized it always happens man those mistakes always happens it uh, it's not in our hand we can do our best or whenever uh, whatever uh, it's possible yes but you told me that whenever you were giving the gts you used to review it very thoroughly and whatever you were making incorrect you were specifically working on that very hard yes ma'am yes, ma yes. so uh, did you feel that that actually helped you to increase your score over time from definitely, 120 to 125 definitely definitely it helped but the plateau phase actually for 2 uh, 3 months i was in plateau phase only ma'am but uh, whenever the the thing is uh, uh, and there is a mock test man like uh, there are uh, grand test uh, uh, in particular and there are mock test which will happen before the exams no ma'am in that mock test the questions was pretty easy compared to the regular gts so at that time the plateau phase improves automatically like that uh, it improved ma'am uh, i haven't concentrated much it automatically it improves man there will be plateau phase for some time and then it improves like i just so focused you don't on have it. to go on you don't have to give up you don't have to feel this heart attack just ah, continue yes, and just yes. try to improve on ah, so yes, what was your when i set uh, rank a ah, rank uh, i got 624 ma'am it's 24 okay were you happy with that or were you expecting no, that i wasn't happy ma'am i actually actually specific uh, i thought uh, we said uh, there will be a many pyts like that but it doesn't happen like that in this may ma'am uh, actually it was pretty difficult Need it, uh, it uh, there has been many PYT repeats, man. In this need, I felt uh, very easy, man. Whatever I prepared for any set, it actually helped me for need, actually, man, more than any set. The PYTs are very important. That's what I got from any set. Yes, so you are telling me that there were many low phases during your preparation, and each time you uh, bounced back. So uh, one thing yes, you uh, told us that. which help you to bounce back is to not look on not think too much about uh, mm -hmm. why you are performing bad but keep on working on improving yourself yes any yes, other factor that helped you to bounce back not much ma'am i focusing on like something focusing on some revision points or something yes ma'am revision points helped ma'am definitely the note also helped ma'am uh, note which i done for mistakes uh, which i felt difficult the topics everything i wrote in a note ma'am and uh, whenever i read uh, for the first time topic will be pretty different ma'am and uh, on such a revisions uh, it automatically becomes easy ma'am like when doing active recall i i remembered it much better than before so definitely i will do better than before that's what in my mind ma'am and uh, that's it help to integrate ma'am whenever i read for three or four times it will automatically link somewhere it got linked man so it's better remembering so the number so of revision that you feel that you could have done earlier also which could have helped your preparation later on definitely definitely man from third year itself actually uh, i have done uh, the first second and third year subjects it definitely automatically helped me in my final year subjects also those concepts and uh, everything it helped man so as as early as i started it really helped me okay and what i am asking you is that any mistake that you made or anything that you felt that you could have done earlier which would have helped you later on silly mistakes i would say ma'am like uh, i used to overthink initially and uh, make some silly mistakes ma'am but uh, in my in this need i i treated every question as an easy question and i just marked whatever i read ma'am I, i haven't even had a second thought for any questions that's what actually helped me ma'am And this uh, need was actually easy, really good. So did you feel I that marrow surprised during your preparation? It was sufficient for your preparation. Definitely, it was more than enough, ma'am. Actually, when because I haven't even done all the modules itself, but uh, still I can able to secure. So it uh, it's more than enough. Marrow is more than enough, ma'am. 
so did, did you ever feel the sometimes that you were missing out or uh, because um, there are so many things available did you yes, ever ma'am. feel that uh, um, should i go to other things also or no, no, what no, actually to follow from the beginning till the end yes ma'am actually i haven't felt like that ma'am uh, yeah i felt there would be missing but it in each platform they cover the topic at a different uh, subjects like that ma'am so anyway everything will be there in the marrow i'm sure of that ma'am so i trusted it completely okay so dr bharat uh, you have used only marrow as your platform for preparation so yes, did you ever feel that for more that everybody there are so many platforms should i go to the other platform also what made you stick with marrow from the beginning till the end ah uh, yes ma'am uh, yeah uh, i felt that ma'am actually but uh, but when i searched on a marrow eventually it was there in the marrow but at different uh, chapters or different uh, subjects ma'am so what i felt was uh, everything is there in the marrow the thing is uh, uh, is there in the marrow ma'am that's all uh, sir i felt yes you have to trust your source yeah no, that's i have to do yes, that everything everything it is a platter everything is present you have to trust mm-hmm. it and if you try to dig well little little everywhere ultimately you will not be able to find what yeah, is so yes. just trust your source give your heart yes, into it and you will definitely reach your goal yes, okay so uh, dr yes, bharat yes, any final piece of advice you would want to give the neat aspirants who are just starting to prepare for neat right now yes ma'am uh, they have to stick to a single source ma'am uh, no matter whatever the question is uh, it may or may not be there in the exam so we have to trust our uh, only source and uh, um, we should not care about our gt scores ma'am because in gt scores i never scored a double digit rank like that uh, and we have to uh, trust our instincts ma'am whenever uh, we read uh, many topics or many facts we used to uh, i i actually i i forget to think the question according to the concepts so we have to trust our basic concepts and uh, everything will fall in place man over time everything will fall in place one year is more than enough for preparation and uh, uh, i may and uh, to make uh, uh, notes on mistakes man and uh, have to revise it uh, whenever possible and uh, that's all on that much <laughs> well wow, you have summarized it so beautifully for our aspirants thank you so much dr bharat congratulations you, again and wish you all the best for a very beautiful future thank, thank you again you. i have to show my thanks <laughs> congratulations congratulations again oh, we are very proud of bharat and uh, i am sure it must be a really uh, a very precious moment for you as well today i have to first thank my parents and uh, my brother my brother is also an inspiration man he is the first doctor from our family and uh, <laughs> i just followed his foot, footsteps like this. i have to Great, thank my brother <laughs> my friends are from <laughs> friends from my college we used to discuss questions too from uh, groups and it also helped me during my final phases man we used to stick in groups so now uh, all up pg aspirants all of you are also going to follow your footsteps and <laughs> i'm sure and i wish them also all the luck that they are also going they should also achieve what you have achieved and yes it is possible thank you so thank much you. dr thank you. thank you thank you so much